We have some lake effect snow, stubborn lake effect uh, that's here at the airport. You can see in our thermal twin weather cam. And uh, winter time isn't done yet. Uh, a lot of times you don't want to shut off that lake effect too soon because things happen, and that's what's happening right now. We're getting a little convergence zone, and uh, what's happening is uh, the snow starts to, uh, the winds are converging uh, between basically Ripley and Cleveland. And guess who's in the middle? It's us. So uh, we may not be quite done with the lake effect, maybe a couple more hours of it yet. But a cold afternoon, indeed, the snow will eventually subside uh, probably later in the afternoon. Now, not expecting any horrendous amounts of additional accumulation, but uh, again, some of you may get an additional inch, perhaps two, before it finally ends by later in the afternoon. And it will be warming up for the weekend and into the early part of next week as a roller coaster ride here in February will continue. Right now we're on the downside, 16 at Penn State Barron, Joe at Northeast at 15, 18, Dr. Tom Nagger Pier, and mid-teens out toward French Creek at the Borough, uh, Lori at 16, and Judy has 15 degrees in Summit. A little warmer out toward West Mead and Meadville where temperatures are closer to 20, 14 cold degrees, Canadota Lake out toward Warren County, Upper teens for Ludlow toward Saybrook and Youngsville. So as Craig mentioned earlier at the top of the show, uh, a real actual winter day where we have cold temperatures. And check out the wind chills here. Three, Meadville at four, Jamestown at one. So uh, please be careful as you work outside. If you have to do some shoveling, you really do. You know, earlier when it's 30, sometimes you can get away without having gloves on. But boy, you better have them on this time. Now, if you watch the satellite radar, everything was going well. And then suddenly, watch how the clouds start to puff up in these new bands puffing up as well. Uh, the overall wind pattern still northwest, but surface winds are converging right here. And uh, that's why we think at least uh, from uh, Erie toward Ashtabula and perhaps even into Conneaut Lake, uh, so the bands will be uh, fairly persistent uh, through the afternoon. Futurecast even kind of picking that up, but by the evening, everything uh, should be done and we'll have some cold conditions overnight as the skies will be clearing out, maybe some patchy clouds. As we head towards Saturday, here comes the return flow, a nice uh, southerly flow. Cold air moves out for February pretty quickly, uh, temperatures approaching 30. But keep in mind, winds will still gust up to 25. It'll still be a cold day. Clouds increase on uh, Saturday night. And right now, uh, maybe a passing flurry or two, as you can see here on uh, the future cast. And skies will stay mostly cloudy and milder as we head toward Sunday. So your forecast you know, along the lake shore will have mostly cloudy skies, periods of snow showers, especially early in the afternoon, perhaps another inch. Temperatures will be holding close to 20. On the inland side, some snow showers, light snow, especially west of I-79, or locally another inch or two possible, and temperatures holding again near 20. Chautauqua again, the area, partly to mostly cloudy, maybe a few flurries, highs in the upper teens. Patch clouds tonight, 10 to 15 for your lows with some single digits into tomorrow. Partly sunny skies with temperatures in the lower 30s, and that will be on the windy side. Sunday, temperatures in the upper 30s with mostly cloudy sky. President's Day will keep it dry and up into the 40s on Tuesday. Lake effect kicks in again for the middle of next week. 